Hey guys, welcome back to Garbage Trucks Rule. Rule. And uh, we've got a brand new truck here, and we're out here in the jungle, as you can tell. And let's talk about this truck, because we also have some dinosaurs. And our youngest, Kane, has fallen in love with dinosaurs. So we're going to start including some dinosaurs here and there. And I got my faithful helpful helper, Vono! Yeah! Yeah! Born blueberry. Yep. And so we've got a brooder truck, and as you can read on the side, it says winter service. And brooder makes really good quality trucks, right, Vaughn? Yes. How many of these do we have, brooders? 20. <laughs> a lot of them. Most of them are garbage trucks. But we just found this kicking around. You know, we go up in the attic from time to time and find things, and we say, hey, we never filmed this. So um, this is a snow truck. And it's missing the plow in the front. <laughs> Sorry about that. But the plow is what is used to move snow out of the way on a really snowy street or road. And on the back, it's got this little spreader. And so the way this works is you have sand in the truck. And then it spreads the sand on the snowy road so that the road becomes more drivable. So let's see this truck from different angles. It's not a real heavy truck, right Vaughn? No. In fact, for our brooder trucks, it's probably one of the lightest. And I believe this truck is around 35 or 40 bucks. So here's the other side. And there's where it says brooder. And you've got a ladder right here. And it says winter service. It's got these red and white safety strips. The doors do not open. And the wheels are, well, that's rubber right there. Rubber wheels. Here's the front of it. You can see the lights and the Mercedes emblem right here. This is where the snow plow part went. And, uh, you know, we could probably spend hours trying to find that sucker. Here's the inside. And this is, um, there's nothing here. So you can just reach right through there and put your guys inside. And so here's what it looks like in the bed of the truck. Can you see that? So that's where the sand would go. And then it would spread right here in the back. So this right here is how you open up. This right here is what you use to open up the inside. And so when, when you flip that up or down, <clears throat> you can manipulate whether the sand is coming out or not. Was this Jackson's truck? Uh, I believe so. Yeah. Okay. And then you may have noticed we also have a pack of dinosaurs. And these are canes. And uh, we wanted to show you these real quick before he notices that we took them. <laughs> so he may be crying about it right now. So this is called Baby Dinos, and this is what's called a tube, T-O-O-B. And so it's a long uh, plastic tube, and inside the tube are 10 different dinosaurs. We got this at Hobby Lobby. And it was on sale for $9.99. I believe they're regularly $11.99. They're very realistic dinosaurs. You get 10 inside. And the name of each dinosaur is on the bottom of it. Now, I don't know. Of course, this is a T-Rex. We got lucky with the first one here. Some of these I've never heard of. Here is our T-Rex. So the next one here is a Spinosaurus, and there he is. I love that little fin on his um, back there. That's really cool. He looks really happy, too. What do we got next? Next we have a Brachiosaurus. He's a happy-looking fella. There he is right here. And they have kind of a hard plastic feel to them. They're very well made, and the detail is really nice. Triceratops is next. Reminds me of um, an armored dinosaur, just the way he looks. We have armadillos here in Texas, and this uh, Triceratops, to me, has the same type of look as, in some ways, an armadillo, because of that shell. What? What's that? Which one? This one? Ah, oh, you got a snake. Ah! ah. 
<laughs> that didn't come with it. I wanted to see that snake closer up. It wasn't a real snake, but anyway. Okay, what was this one? Do we know? Apatosaurus, I think. Uh, Apatosaurus, yes. A-P-A-T-O-saurus. And there he is right there. And I think a lot of these dinosaurs eat what, Lauren? Like that one right there. Yeah, I think some eat meat, like, you know, the T-Rex. Vegetarian, plant eater, yeah. And then, do we have any more? No, nope, that's it. Normally you get ten in each tube, but we can only find seven. And I suppose that you're going to get duplicates at times, because we got two T-Rexes. And uh, once again, this is called Tube Baby... This one's called Tube, and it's Dino Babies, and they're around ten bucks or so. And uh, if you go to the website, safariltd.com, you can see all the different ones that they have. Hey, Kane! Hi! Come on over, buddy! He noticed that we were playing with his dinosaurs. Hi, Kane! See, I don't have dinosaurs. You don't have them because we have them. <laughs> we were showing everybody your dinosaurs, but now we're finished. All right, guys, anything else, Vaughn? Uh, don't let the dinosaurs eat you. And Vaughn, you have a channel, right? Yes. What is the name of your YouTube channel? Fedora Blueberry. Fedora Blueberry. F-E-D-O-R-A Blueberry. And you do Nerf guns and Legos and Team Fortress 2 and what else? Um. Well, he's still thinking about it. <laughs> <clears throat> well, there you go, guys. Today we're talking about dinosaurs and a Bruder Winter Service truck. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and we will see you in the next video. Bye, guys. See ya. So here's a nice view of this bad boy from the side. And it says RHFD326. And then it's got a button that you can push. And it makes that sound right there. And it's got some lights on the front. And hit that button one more time, Kane. See? Yeah, that engine's starting up. That sounds to me kind of like a garbage truck. So it does use batteries. Yep. And I believe they're double A's. All right, well, let's check it out from another angle. So this is the cab overhead view right here. And we put a couple of guys...